Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondre and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today my subject will be uh, a beach and I'm going to put a house there like uh, a beach house and I'm going also to put a river through going to the beach. Okay, and please don't forget to subscribe. We have been subscribed it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications of my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials needed on the screen. You can see the five limited colors, the brushes that we're gonna need, and all the things that we need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now. And the first step, I'm going to put, I'm going to do a little sketching. I'm going to uh, put uh, my horizon. So I have here the roux, umber, and the white. I'm going to put my horizon on the a little top part here yeah it should be straight uh, a little above the center everyone so it's, uh, it will be a uh, try and error I'll put the house here, it will be far from us. And uh, I will put a uh, big crossing waves here. There. Oh, wait, it will be a little smaller, it should be. do something like this there I'll put some rocks here And I'm going to put the house here and also uh, I'm going to put uh, a palm tree or a coconut tree here, a big coconut tree. So my composition will be as simple as that. There, so this will be my plan and here some grasses with the sun, something like that. Okay, so that will be my plan, and I'm going to start now uh, painting. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to start with the underpainting. So I have here the number, uh, I think it's one and a half inch flat brush. You can also use one inch, two inches, so it's up to you. As long as it's not so much big, it will cover, it will, it will be hard to cover some parts. Or it will, uh, it will be hard to create uh, smaller details. And before you start painting, I spray uh, a little bit of water to the surface of the canvas so that it will be easy for me to drag my paints, okay, or drag my brushes. So you can also use this brush. You can add a little water and spread it throughout the canvas, okay? So I'm going to put the sky first, blue and white.
there. I will put more white on the bottom part. The bottom part should be lighter, everyone. I'll put a little red to make it uh, a little bit purple. That you can see that it's uh, like an uh, afternoon or something. So we have to spread the paints. Good. You can also put a tape there if you want. There, so I think it's very, very smooth now. I like the blendings. I have here the blue and a little red. It should be some uh, purple, everyone. I'm gonna put the horizon here. Okay, it should be straight. Make sure that it's straight. Because this is the horizon, of course. There, okay, so you have now a very straight horizon. Okay, now I'm going to use this uh, rue umber with white. So this will be my page. Now wait, I'm going to also to use a little light blue color here. Here I'm going to spread a little bit of light blue. This will be my color of the water and a little bit brownish here. In which you can see a little bit of the of the color of the or the what's beneath the water you can see. So, as you can see now, it's a little bit light in color. That's fine. I want it to be light. And then, I have here the raw umber. Just the raw umber, everyone. I will try to mix with the red and yellow and then white.
but uh, remember everyone that this is just an under painting first it's not the final later we can create those tinier bitter details there that's good okay put your brush on the water okay so I think the sky is uh, dry now I do not need to let it dry for at least five minutes uh, I can proceed I think okay so I am going to put now some details on the sky so I'm gonna put some clouds there I'm excited to put those clouds yeah okay so I will be using um, this medium size flat brush number eight I'll be mixing again the blue with a little red yeah it should be purple with white so that it will become light purple Okay, that's too bright everyone, make it a little darker. So some, can put some base, the bottom part. We can create those beautiful clouds, floppy clouds. I just create I can use the circular strokes There. So we are just doing first this uh, under grayish stone or colors for these clouds I'll try to use some white I'm gonna put it here I'm gonna spread a little bit this will be some light tones or distant clouds here just press it everyone and spread it all over a little smaller clouds here like a cumulus uh, no uh, cirrus clouds Okay, and now I'm going to put a little bit highlights, but I'll be using a smaller brush now. This number two nylon flat brush. Make sure that you clean your brushes. There's no sign of anything there. There's no colors, something that will make your colors dirty. I'm gonna put some white. 
auch so. I just want the, uh, the everything on the sky looks lighter. I'm gonna put some white. I'm gonna put some highlights now. Again, my, my highlights will be coming from the left. to make it look there's a lot of clouds there there and also here some will be covered, especially the tree here, I will be covered by the tree, so it will not be so important, especially this part. Just a circular strokes, everyone. And you can create realistic looking clouds. Especially those uh, fluffy clouds there. There. Okay. And also this one. I'll just blend it a little bit, a little bit good. And you can mix, uh, make it a little lighter, mix it with the other, with the existing grayish color or light purple. You can spread it a little bit here. There, sorry about the dogs, everyone. Okay, yeah. I think that's the sky everyone it looking good I think it looks uh, realistic yeah yeah I'm a bit uh, uh, for me it's good it's good enough okay so yeah maybe I'll just proceed down on the bottom part which uh, I will try to put some crossing waves there yeah just a little crossing waves here on our on our uh, beach so I'll be using just white There, okay. And also here. There. And also some white forms here. I'll put.
can also put some white foams on the top, on the back. Okay. Some white forms also here. There. And also here in the back, we can create those. Okay, so it looks like now that uh, the, the sea is rough or something like it's not calm sea, okay? So it's something like that. Yeah. So you can see now that uh, you can, uh, the crossing wa waves are uh, really obvious. I'll try it here more. Okay, I'm going to use uh, a little bit purple. And also, I want to put some uh, blue green to make it look like uh, it's a little bit shallow. I have here the blue and the yellow, just blue and the yellow, everyone. More blue, I mean, put more blue and then white. get a little bit uh, blue green here there and then I will try darker purple I'm gonna make this a little dark here There. Okay. Okay. That looks good. It looks uh, like crashing waves now. Okay. So, what's next? I'm going to put now the house. Yeah. I will just do this one first. And everything I will follow so I will be using a smaller brush and then the raw umber for the sketching I'll paint a smaller house here everyone
Okay, I think I'm going to. Yeah, I'm not sure everyone, but wait. I will try to visualize first. Usually, it should be facing the the. I mean the. It should be facing the the sea or the ocean. Yeah. Like this. I'll make it a bit facing the ocean. Okay. Yeah. The waves is kind of big everyone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it will be like that. The design will be like that. Yeah, I think this will be just a small house. Also some tree there, some tree, but I'm, I'm going to put some. So it's a little bit protruding, everyone, or a little bit uh, higher. I mean. Okay, and then I will try to put some plants also. There. Okay, one more thing. I am going to <laughs> yeah I think that will be good and a palm tree here so I will expect that I will put a small palm tree here yeah okay so I'm going to put now uh, details so this will be a white house everyone 
Uh, and I'm gonna put the the roof uh, red or dark brown. So so red and the roof umber. Okay, so if you are painting your room, just follow what I'm doing. And don't forget to enjoy every moment, okay? There, there. Uh, clean your brush. And then, since our light coming from the left side, uh, we're gonna put our lights on the left. Blue on the red or purple with a little white there Okay, I'm gonna use some white. Sorry about the uh, lazy dog, everyone. There. Okay, so the lights are striking on that part. I also need to put lights on the roof, everyone. So I have here the red and the yellow. And then white. Or yellow and the red. Okay, maybe more reddish. There, so we can see now everyone that the house look, the roof looks a little bit realistic now. This one also here, I'm gonna make it a little lighter. You can actually use a smaller brush if uh, this brush is hard for you. Actually, it's kind of hard using this brush. There. 
And now I'm going to put some some white lines for the uh, on the roof. So I'll be using the number one liner brush or zero liner brush. I mean zero zero. I'm going to put some white. there okay and also at least should not forget the chimney <laughs> Okay, and then I'll use this uh, light through umber. I'll put some white. there okay yeah it's now uh, clear everyone uh, and I will put first some darker row umber more red should be a darker umber one so here At least you can see now much clearly. Okay, and then I'm gonna try also a little lighter. Some parts should be lighter, everyone, because uh, this is a white house also. There. So I like it. It looks good now. It's becoming much more real. From time to time. Okay. And then I think I'm going to put a fence here everyone because I think this is a dangerous place. <laughs> yeah. Or some a little dike there. That it will be far from the from the water. So maybe there's there will be a typhoon and it will be dangerous on this place. So and I think I'll put some chimney. I'll just use the light go umber. I chimney now. I will try to lighten. I mean, uh, I'm going to make some parts out of darker. Especially the shadows. Yeah. 
then a little uh, tinier details usually in the roof so yellow white on the red or uh, red light orange something like that just align everyone from the top there okay looking good yeah now uh, I'm going to put some windows so this is not a big house everyone maybe just uh, enough space or enough size house not so big house so light purple window there and here will be a door on the back there also here and then I will try to put a little details on the window there so that's a window now okay so that's a small house everyone but it's a beautiful design house okay so i'm gonna put now some some things on the sides or something like that so yeah i'm gonna put some white sands here or so So I'll be uh, just be mixing the the blue and the uh, the red and the yellow and then white a little amber there I'm gonna make it uh, lighter.
also here. There. So I'll make the sun a little bit lighter, everyone. Sorry, I think you cannot see in the bottom part. Yeah, I think. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, you cannot see the bottom part. Okay. So, I'm going to put more like uh, details or some something like uh, plants there. So, I'll be using a bigger brush. Number 8 nylon press brush. Make sure that uh, it's a, it has no paints. So blue and yellow. Get a little romber. Romber will make it dark. So here, I'm going to put some plants here. There, also here. There and also here, everyone. I should put some plants also. Okay. There, so you can see also some grounds. little bit everyone you can see uh, some greenish okay I will put uh, some highlights, so I'll just use some yellow with a little bit white and blue and then yellow. Just a light green, everyone. I'll use a smaller brush, smallest flat brush, this one. So just do it, just put the highlights on the left part. There. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's just a light blue and white. We can create the highlights. So again, tapping technique everyone, just put it on the top. There. Okay, then I will also put some flowers there. Maybe some yellow flowers first. There. Or maybe pink. Just red and white. Try some red. There, okay. So it looks good, it looks colorful there, it looks alive. And I will also put one. Uh, I will also put one, something like, uh, yeah, I forgot the palm tree. <laughs> I should put the palm tree there. Just a small palm tree because this is a big, uh, small house. So, row umber with white. Just straight, maybe a little bit. Uh, the color we want is uh, light through umber. Okay, and then I will be using uh, this small flat brush, uh, number two nail flat brush. I have here the blue, the yellow, and the raw umber. Then put first the the stem, and then you can create the leaves. I'll put a little red.
there so we can see now a palm tree I'll extend it a little bit Okay, I think that will be a good size. Yeah, because this house is just a small house, everyone. So, yeah, yeah, I think that's a good size. Uh, I even think that it's too small. <laughs> yeah, maybe the stem is just too small. Or the trunk is too, is too small, I think. Put some highlights there. There, and then also the highlights of the top. Uh, some highlights on the leaves. I just have yellow and then white. there so we can see now that it's looking like a real palm tree i'm going to proceed now on the bottom part yeah i'm gonna put there some more details whatever i can to make it to make it look more uh, realistic uh, i am thinking of putting a boat there yeah maybe i'll put one boat so it will, maybe it will be a good idea and i'll try I'm not really sure if I'm going to put, but I'll just try. Okay, so I'm going to proceed. Okay, so this will be uh, a lot of sun, everyone. So here, I'm going to clean my brush. I'm going to use this yellow and the red. More yellow, a little blue amber, and then a lot of white. There, I'm gonna make it lighter.
there. Okay. Okay, you can see now that uh, there's a far part and the near part. And I will try to put now uh, some I'll try to put now some grasses there. I'm excited to put the grasses. So I have the, the blue, the yellow, and the umber. You can also use the red. Yellow. I'm gonna put more red. I'll just make it look more busy, everyone. There, and then I'm gonna put some more yellow, and then I'll just try to put some highlights. Just tapping technique, everyone. Also create uh, different uh, grasses here. It's up to you, everyone. I can also put a little bit yellowish.
here. What is it here? There. Okay. At least this one looks like uh, there are grasses there. And also I will put some dried leaves, something like that, some logs, or something that will, it will look like uh, that it's uh, on the sides of the river. Yeah. Okay. Some rocks also. Yeah, I need to put also some rocks there. And also on this part, I need to put something here. So the same brushes. So let's try to use this umber with white. And here I'm gonna put the highlights. There, uh, wait, more highlights, everyone. Just more white. There. And then I'm gonna put more reddish color, or reddish brown, or. Much more like an orange color, orange brown. This part you can see that it's a, a wet. That's why it's darker on the on the on the side. Put a little bit darker. Okay. There. That part should be a little darker. Okay, and then I'm going to use a bristle flat brush. I'm going to put some uh, some bushes also there. So blue, yellow, and then raw umber or red. Uh, 
and then I'm gonna put some yellow and white for the highlights here just stopping everyone there okay so so far so good okay so I'm going also to put some water reflections so on this part I'm gonna put a little disturbance in the water. But I'm gonna put the uh, water reflections first. It will just be raw umber and a little white. Or some red. everyone you can use the raw umbrella also Also put the plants there. Okay, not just everyone, but but also here. looks good now everyone looks uh looks uh realistic it's just simple and realistic okay and also i will put some waves here I'll put some water disturbance on that part it's pretty important just a blue red and the white Just a purple everyone, light purple I mean, put some white there. Just put some water disturbance here. There. Okay. And then some white highlights. So 
Ahí, es un mosquito. This part will be looking like a shallow part. There. So this part now everyone, it looks like a shallow. Yeah. Yeah, and in here, but I will try to make it a little bit lighter raw umber. Yeah, I just use this one with a little raw umber and white. Not so much, but uh, make it a little bit darker. There, maybe a little bit darker. Yeah, maybe a, a little bit darker, everyone. I'm gonna make it like that on the on the sides. I want to show you the I want to show the bottom part everyone of this uh, water so this part will be kind of advanced so I just do like that to make it uh, I'm using uh, a thin brush with uh, water in it a lot of water like a glazing like a glazing technique something like that you can also put something like a rocks there on the bottom there as you can see in this part it looks very very it looks brownish yeah I think that looks good. It looks brown is that you can see that it's uh it's not deep. And also here, I'll try to make it brownish. There, and then I will try to put some white uh, some brush uh, white on the raw umber I mean uh, on the purple light purple
I'm gonna put some white lines here. On the water, everyone. It's on the water. There. It's actually a reflection. It's a center line between the water and the and the land or an object, something like that. Okay. It's way better now. It looks pretty amazing and realistic. Okay, what more? What else? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some rocks there, of course, some rocks, some logs, or whatever uh, brownish you can find. You can find on the, on the, on the what do you call this? On the beach. So first, I'm gonna try to put in this one, remember, some dark colors. Put a rusted shadow there for a forget. And also here, I'll try to put more. So to put some dirt here. Usually, uh, the river will carry those uh, those things, like sticks or whatever floating. They will float. Also put some rocks. some yellow
there I'm gonna put also some more white light something So those parts are looking like uh, a very busy uh, part of the, and you can see a lot of things there. It's usually like a scenario when you walk in the beach, you can see a lot of things there. You can see some, some garbage, something like that. I also put some... I'm gonna put one lug here. It is uh, an old wood. There. Okay. And then I'll try to use this brush as a zero liner brush. I'm gonna put a little details on the lugs or on the woods or driftwood, something like that. Yeah, little highlights there. And also here. You can put a lot of uh, woods here, bro. A little bit darker. It should look like an abstract or BC, everyone, like a normal 
uh, scenario of a uh, of a uh, particular list of a uh, uh, of a beach or beside the beach, something like that. Okay, this looks good. I'm gonna put more white. Okay, and now I will try to put some some other types of plants there. I wanted to have a bigger leaves, so yellow and uh, blue. A little, a little white there. put some white this would be uh, uh, highlights there not so much as you can see are different types of plants and also some dried leaves I need to put um, just orange yeah not so much it's too much orange put some there okay yeah looks so good okay it's becoming much more realistic now actually I, I was planning to put uh, a boat there I'm not sure but maybe it will be good yeah I think the boat will be good on this part yeah the painting is just so simple everyone and yet it looks uh, realistic there so I'm planning to put a boat but I'm not really really sure if I can still put the boat there but I think it will be very very good it will be it will add it uh, that will add uh, a realistic sense of this painting
Uh, okay, so I'll let you see everything. Yeah, maybe I will not put now everyone because it will be too much for this painting. Uh, I like to put the boat there. I really love to put because it will be on a perfect uh, spot. Adding a one boat there. But for me, it would be too much on this painting because uh, I already have the subject there. Okay, everyone. So, yeah, I'm not planning to put the boat because um, it will be on another painting. <laughs> I wanted to, to put another painting. So, this one, I think this is enough for this tutorial. Uh, I'm planning to put on the left side. But uh, I think it will be... I don't want to mix up also the perspective because... It will be a little complicated when I add when I will add the boat there. I need to make sure that the perspective is good. It will be directly related to the house there, so it's kind of hard. It's kind of a little uh, complicated. What what will be the size of the boat that I'm gonna put there on the on the small river? So it's challenging also. But for now, this tutorial will be perfect for everyone. So um, yeah, it will be perfect for you. You can you can learn a lot uh, from this. You can create more natural beach, something like that. Okay, everyone. So I wanna say thank you for watching this video today, and I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush. The more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors of palette because I want you to learn how to, learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.